I might get some questionable eyebrows because of this, but I need to be very clear. So I'm not chilling this version of drip. All I'm doing is reporting what will it be about. And that's something one should understand because I did make negative videos about the pulse chain version of drip. Indeed, because the premise was still the same. The idea that people were following was also still the same. But in this case, all right, just understand that this isn't neither FUD nor it is chilling. All right. It's somewhere in the middle and it's pretty clear where it is. Now, with the market coming up in a way, though, Bitcoin pushing 20% gains in seven days, the likes of meme coins like Pepe and Floki up to 30% gains in seven days, even on the daily, Floki did like 25%. It's clear that money is coming back and there's a lot of interest, or at least for the time being, and there seems to be a lot more gambling going around and more risk. Uh, adverse people are entering you know alts and riskier assets at least for the time being again so for that reason something like this which is gaining a lot of attention by the way so either on youtube or all around the groups on telegram perhaps could be good if you are somebody who would want to take advantage of being an early adopter or if you're in the pre-sale even So the pre-sale of this has already been concluded. They will be launching tomorrow. So tomorrow around 6 p.m. UTC. But don't take my word for it. Go on their Telegram and check when this will launch. But again, I should be very clear. This is still a Ponzi scheme. All right. So money in, money out. As long as there are new people coming in, you're going to make money. It has its own so-called mechanics, game theory. But it is what it is. Everyone knows this. You just need to be aware of timing your entry if you decide to go in. That's all. Now, as for what this is about, according to the white paper, because there's no uh, live website yet, it will it should be live tomorrow before launch, according to what they said. According to the white paper, this is, you know, overall a clear copy of the Pulse Chain version. And what I mean by a clear copy is this. So first, you have a total of 5,000 faucets. And that's how much in total they will be overall. So after this, if you want one, you have to buy it on the marketplace. If people are selling, of course. There is a max deposited amount of 10,000 tokens, which can be acquired either through buying up from the market or compounding your way to 10,000. And the max payout is 365%. You get 1% per day. So all of these things you already know, right? So you've seen this in other ROI dApps or even in the OG BSC drip version. The total supply right now is 5 million, but of course it's elastic. It's subject to change as more faucets are being minted and people are pushing towards that maximum payout, of course. Taxes are also quite clear to everyone. 10% in, 10% out, 10% transfer, 10% airdrop, so on and so forth. And there's 5% on compounding. So all of these taxes and all of those drips deposited in the faucet, B drip, sorry, deposited in the faucet, they will go to pay out those daily 1% dividends. All right. They will also release their own version of the garden. So the base garden, the base drip garden, which, which is a minor. So I did, you know, uh, specify my feelings about something like this. So this is technically a minor. There's no... Uh, <coughs> There, there's no beating the bush around it so you get 1.5 percent in eth i think this will either be an entry in eth or a new sdc i don't think it's specified yet up to 300 percent you can compound and then when you claim and deposit there's a 10 percent tax and there is also a tax uh, a referral tax of course so the taxes are usually distributed uh, between uh, 7 3 for mainly for buying back so B drip and then uh, for referral bonuses and then also buying back B drip and then feeding the reward pool again, meaning it goes back in the B drip garden. And also there is a 5% tax on compounding, I think. So all of these things are textbook game theory when it comes to ROI DAP. Of course, the more they play with these numbers, the more it could become 
uh, you know, more like a more like a longer runaway at the end of the day. If there are new people coming in, of course, and if there's no new interest, and they also added the elasticity in terms of faucet movements that you see within your faucet when you enter uh, this protocol, and you know, similarly to the to the pulse chain version, pulse chain version. So I think it's all the same. And to understand how this works, I took a small scenario. So you would know, for example, what to expect. So assumingly, you deposit 1,000 tokens. All right, so your max payout is 3.65 times that. And your daily is 1%, so that's 10 tokens. And then if you decide to claim those 10 tokens, not only will your total remaining to claim decrease overall because your max payout is X, but then you remove 10 tokens from that max payout, your actual deposit will also uh, decrease by 10. So now instead of having 1000, I now have 990 in my deposits. So my earnings, so my 1% per day on paper, of course, will decrease. So instead of taking 10 tokens a day, now I'm getting 9.9. .9. And that will affect my max payout because now it's no longer 3.65 times the 1000 tokens is 3.65 times 990 tokens. So you get the logic. The more you claim, the less that deposit amount <clears throat> is, and then the less you earn the next day, and then the lesser your max payout is. So of course, if you compound again the next day, that will pump your deposit, which in turn pumps your max payout, which in turn pumps your daily the next day. So honestly, I think the only factor that in my opinion, makes thing lasts more than, for example, the OG BSC drip and why, let's say, the Pulse drip version is still lasting to this day is perhaps this feature right here. Disregard the taxes, disregard the max payout, disregard the B garden and all of these things. The fact that you won't be able to just claim the same amount every day without having that amount shrink on a daily basis is perhaps the only thing that will make people compound a bit more so that number doesn't you know drift and go down and if the price goes down while your daily goes down then it's not good so i think there will be a balance between people understanding that okay i still want to get that much but at the same time i don't want to reduce my daily now here's what i think will play out honestly here is what i uh, presume will play out i think we will see a similar chart painted than what uh, P-Drip did. So you see there was a sharp rise, a small drop, because people bought, then sold, then another leg up, another leg up. It will reach most probably an all-time high within two, three days, and then it will drop until it finds a floor and then play within a certain range. I assume the same pattern will be, pattern will be painted here, but again, this is all based on the, 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 the OG version of this because that's a clone again. So we don't know. We will see. Now, in terms of money on the base chain, there is plenty right now. So the total value love, if you go to DeFi Llama, this is where you check things, or this is where I check things. We are at about 302 uh, million in total value locked right now. So that's an impressive steep. Of course, we had this sharp rise when more interest was in, and now we're kind of stagnated. Volume is also not bad, so the chain is doing about 22, 23 uh, million, but that's recently because we've had lots more volume on chain due to, you know, market activity overall and more interest, so to speak, between quotation marks. So volume is not bad, TVL is not bad, and there seems to be quite a lot of interest, at least for the time being, like I said. So. All of these factors combined together and the idea that people saw that the other version made it, so to speak. And to be completely honest, I didn't think they would last till now. The only thing I wasn't you know, aware of is this last part that I showed you. So the elasticity of the faucet, which you know made it clear that, okay, there's still more capital. And I know that they did buybacks from the liquidity they raised. I know that they're the garden also that's feeding this. And I think there's something else now that uh, they have implemented that also feeds some buyback. So overall, and of course, the price of the underlying asset pulse rising due to the latest market uh, uptrend. So all of these factors combined together made it so this would, you know, be in the state that it is in right now. So, you know, 
just add all of these elements together and maybe we will get something similar for base trip now again this is by no means a guarantee we could you know see a small rise and then boom it could drop on our heads and then die within a couple of days if there's no interest but i think many people right now are lined up you know to try and get something at launch but be very careful because you could get tricked you could buy a high price and then dumped on so just be very mindful that it's very tricky and difficult because lots of people are waiting for this to happen and keep in mind that because the pre-sale filled out fast this also might be something that will you know drive people to see ah there's lots of interest many people are waiting to get in so i should but anyways i just wanted to lay out the ground rules so you understand what's going on at the end of the day it's still a ponzi it's still something that you should you shouldn't put your life savings in just put a bit of money if you want to play with it's for fun it's it's not going to be sustainable of course it's just going to be there for a couple of months and we're going to have some fun with this if you decide to enter all right and last but not least our community defy ascension welcomes everyone who wants to enjoy their time talk about real defy degen stuff like this or other types of um interest and subjects within the crypto space so follow us and join us if you're not there we'll be lucky to have you and we would love to have you and welcome you with open arms and with that see you in the next one have a good one